what is up guys welcome back in this video i'm going to show you how to install the free version of cakewalk zona so without wasting time let us dive into it so the first thing you need to do is go to your browser and then click on download cakewalk zona so as you can see i already have it here so i'm just going to search and then you know it will bring you to this page and you're going to click on this link here so i'm going to have the link in the description if you don't want to go through any of this if you click on the link it will take you directly to this place so when you come to this place all you have to do is scroll down a little bit and then you're going to find sona so there is another free daw here which is called cakewalk next if you want to download that also you know you can download it i'm going to be talking about it very soon but you know today we are focused on cakewalk sona so what you have to do is just click on see more and then you know scroll down a little bit and then you're going to see get free so you're going to download it from here for windows so as you can see it doesn't have any other version it's just for windows so i'm just going to click on it right now so it will ask you for the destination where you want to save the download so me i always save my downloads in download so i don't like complicating things so i've already downloaded it as you can see here i already have it i downloaded it on the 21st of july 2025 so i already have it so if you want to download it just click on save and it will start downloading the next thing you need to do is go to wherever you saved the thing that you just downloaded so like i said i saved it in my download so it's going to be there as you can see it is there so this is like the product center so cakewalk doesn't have a direct installer you have to like download this and then install cakewalk from there i've already installed it but just click on it if you want to install it this is what it looks like this one here once you're done installing it you have to like open it so once you open it this is what you're going to see after you've signed up or signed in so if you haven't i'm going to show you how to do that now so i'm going to sign out and um, what you need to do now is sign into bandlab so if you don't have a bandlab account and you click on this all you have to do is just click on sign up so once you click on sign up if you already have a bandlab account you can just enter your details but once you click on sign up you know you're going to see this and then you enter your name your email address and your password and your date of birth and all that so after doing that it will automatically sign you in here so you don't have to do anything else i'm just going to click on sign in to ban lab and then i'm going to type in my email address and all that so i'm going to just blow it out so that you don't see my details and all that i'm going to impute my password so after doing that you're going to get this cakewalk sign in successful so once you're done signing in this is what you're going to see so the first one is cakewalk sona so this is the daw so all you have to do is just click on install but i've already installed this so what i can do now is update it but i'm not going to be doing that now after that you can install the add-on anything with like a crown here and a, and a crown here is premium so you don't have to bother doing that because it's not going to be free but apart from that you can install the cakewalk studio instruments you can install the drum replacer you can try melodyne if you don't want the add-ons you can just click this and it will all go away and you just install cakewalk sona now keep in mind that after downloading the cakewalk sona after clicking on install that you have to click on these three dots to show the installer location so when you click on it it's going to take you to where it downloaded the installer and you have to install it by yourself so just clicking on this won't install it on your computer it will just download the installer to a location and then after that just click on show installer location and then you have to manually install it by yourself and if you want other products from cakewalk like the cakewalk by band lab you can install it if you want the cakewalk next you can also install it so i hope you got value from this video make sure to like comment and subscribe and also i'm going to be making a tutorial about how to use this daw in future so make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so that you don't miss out when i upload the video